This is the Samsung Galaxy S22, a two-year-old Samsung flagship that was launched at $800 but is currently available refurbished at just under $300. Is it still worth buying today in 2024? Strap up as we look at reasons to buy and reasons not to buy the Samsung Galaxy S22 in 2024. Reason number one to buy the phone is its price. Being able to get the phone refurbished for less than $300 is a really really great thing. In a market flooded with new budget phones at this price point, the Galaxy S22 stands out. Most of them have limited features that wouldn't come close to it, and it will still outlast them. The new Galaxy S24 has just been released at $800, but let's be honest, most of us can't really afford that phone right now, and when you put it side by side with the S22, they are very similar. Why not buy this one and have almost the same experiences, minus some minor differences here and there. It remains as a much lower cost alternative to the just released Galaxy S24. The build quality is another factor contributing to the phone's appeal. It's a really beautiful phone, more beautiful than your girlfriend, and it's also compact, so it fits well in the hand and is a good option for those who like smaller phones. Crafted with Gorilla Glass Victus Plus on both the front and back, the Galaxy S22 is well equipped and safe from faults and scratches most of the time. It also has IP68 dust and water resistance rating, so you don't need to worry about those elements most of the time. The phone's design and build quality shows us all the telltale signs of a premium device. The next reason is the display. The 6.1 inch AMOLED 1080p display has vivid colors and exceptional clarity. It may be small, but that shouldn't really matter. With a peak brightness of 1300 nits, the screen remains visible even in direct sunlight, and the inclusion of HDR10 Plus certification makes it deliver excellent color reproduction and dynamic range when streaming movies and TV shows. The display is also on 20Hz, and it's adaptive so it adjusts itself between 48Hz and on 20Hz, which means that the phone can adapt to your use and save battery life where possible. For just under $300, this display is better than most actual budget phones in the same price range. When it comes to performance, it's also a powerhouse. It has two processor options, the Exynos 2200 chipset and the superior Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset. If you're thinking of buying the phone, I'd recommend the latter. You are almost guaranteed a seamless user experience, handling resource-intensive tasks such as heavy gaming and video editing. With 8GB of RAM complementing the processor, it does really well when multitasking between various apps, and the two storage options of 128GB and 256GB provide enough space for media, apps, files, and for most people. The combination of a powerful processor, generous RAM, and ample storage options positions the S22 as a performance-oriented device that doesn't compromise on power and efficiency. The camera capabilities of the phone stand out as another reason to consider it. Equipped with a triple camera system, including a 50 megapixel main lens, a 12 megapixel ultrawide lens with a 20 degree field of view, and a 10 megapixel telephoto lens offering 3 times optical zoom, the device covers a broad range of photographic scenarios. The 10 megapixel selfie camera ensures stunning self portraits. The cameras capture sharp photos with great detail and colors that are true to life. Whether in daylight, low light or zoom situations, they are quite realistic and generally offer a great photography experience. The rear camera supports 8K video recording at 24 frames per second, while the more practical 4K video recording is available at 30fps and 60fps for both the rear and selfie cameras. This versatility makes the Samsung Galaxy S22 an excellent choice for content creators providing a reliable tool for capturing high-quality videos. We'll have no complaints with the camera, especially considering new $300 phones usually have terrible cameras. The phone was launched with Android 12 and Samsung's One UI 4.1 in 2022 and has continued to receive updates, currently running on Android 14 and One UI 6.1. It will still get updates up to Android 16, so you'll be able to enjoy the latest features and security patches for at least three years from now. This longevity makes it more valuable and worth being bought even today. Now while it has a good lineup of great features, its charging speeds may be a sticking point for some potential buyers in 2024. Equipped with 25 watt charging, the device falls slightly behind the current industry standards set by other brands like Oppo, Xiaomi, OnePlus, Realme and more, which offer faster charging options. We're in an era where super fast charging is being prioritized, so this is considered as a drawback. On the bright side, it has wireless charging, something you rarely experience at the $300 price point. But then again, most people rarely use it. Another factor that may push you away is the absence of a headphone jack. 
Removing the headphone jack has been a trend for a while now, and while Bluetooth offers a wireless alternative with excellent audio quality, there is always lag, especially when gaming or watching movies where you need exact audio synchronization. Another reason could be the size of the phone. We're in 2024, and a 6.5-inch phone is considered a standard phone size, so many people may consider a 6.1-inch phone to be small, and although it contributes to comfortable handling and fits well in the hand, it's a disadvantage for people who do things like gaming or watching movies. This, of course, comes down to personal preference. So if you don't like small phones, or already used to bigger phones, this could be a drawback for you. The final reason that could put you off is the battery life. It has a small 3700mAh battery as per today's standards, of which most phones have 5000mAh battery. And many people with the phone have complained of its battery life being shorter, especially heavy users. So if you are a heavy user, and use your phone for long periods of time, its battery life may not meet your expectations. For just under $300, this phone is a must buy, serving as a more affordable alternative to the recently released Galaxy S24. It offers most of the features but at a fraction of the cost. If you like small phones and want a great performing phone but at a budget, this is the one for you. What other older phones should you talk about? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, I'm Milan and this is Fuzitel. Subscribe.